Hi. I feel like the number one question I get asked is, what do I need to start scrapbooking? Where do I start? So I wanted to make this video basically telling you what I use, like all the basics. I also feel like I've got a lot of comments saying like, this isn't what I thought scrapbooking was. Like, this is really cool. Um, I think so too. So I kind of wanted to show you guys that scrapbooking can be really fun. It's a great way to document your life and your memories. It doesn't have to be that cringy, like classic scrapbook that you probably think of when you think of scrapbooking. It is fun, it is really crafty, and it's also like a really cute gift. So let's get into it. Here are my scrapbooking essentials. I've got my trusty notes with all my essentials written on here. So the first thing is the scrapbook pages. So at the moment, I'm just using a journal that I got from, is it Flying Tiger um, in Edinburgh? It's a five by seven size. I feel like that is the perfect starting size. It's not overwhelming like the standard 12 by 12 inch like scrapbooking pages. Um, so it's very small. You don't have to fill a lot of space to make it look cute. So I would suggest starting small, five by seven pages. Now for the album. So at the moment, I'm just using a classic four by six photo album and I've kind of hacked it a little bit to make it work as my scrapbook album. So I've kind of sliced the middle so that my page can just slide right in. I feel like this is a really cute way to also showcase it like in my bookshelf and stuff like that. Um, again, I just don't love the look of the 12 by 12 scrapbooks. I also just can't find a five by seven photo album anywhere. So if you know of one, please tell me. <laughs> this album's also just really cute. I also thrifted this. Just count how many times I say, I thrifted this, I thrifted this. I got this when I was in Canada, maybe like six years ago or something. It's kind of got like a vintage vibe to it as well, which I'm obsessed with. Okay, so photos. I just print mine at Kmart. It is so super easy, so cheap. And honestly, I feel like there's such good quality. Um, I've never really printed photos at home, like with my own printer, but maybe I should actually. Yeah, anyway, they're like 10 cents a photo at Kmart and literally perfect. I always print doubles of like my favorite photos because Sometimes I like doubling them over or like cutting out, how do I explain this? Say I've got three photos of myself drinking a coffee. I'm gonna cut around those three times and then I'm gonna layer them on top of each other. Okay, this is getting into like tutorial vibes though. So we'll just talk about that in another video and print a lot as well. The more photos, the better and the more pages, the better. So just print lots, keepsakes, which is like, everything you want receipts tickets old photos polaroids film strips like anything we just did a big euro trip so i'm still working on the photos from that but i have a lot a lot a lot of receipts and plane tickets all the good stuff that you want to scrapbook they always come in handy don't throw anything out which when you're traveling can be a bit hard but it's just paper just keep it I will literally keep like lolly wrappers from a lolly that I tried in Poland and scrapbook it later and add a little note being like, this was so young. I just feel like those are cute things to look back on. So keep everything. Okay, next up are glue dots and double-sided tape. So I just don't love using like a normal glue stick or anything liquidy because it tends to make the photos like bumpy and like wet and it just like especially the receipts and tickets and stuff like I just don't feel like it works for what I'm doing so glue dots are literally my best friend okay the next are these paper pads which I think you can find at like any craft or hobby store these are perfect for using as a background or using as little tags like literally anything this paper is like my go-to like I use it every time so going along with the paper I always save like any wrapping paper or packaging that I think looks cute because that will always come in handy for like any page that you do. I love ripping things up and then cutting things out using a hole punch. Like there's so many different things you can do with cute packaging and wrapping paper. Okay, now for my favorite essential fabric. So I feel like I find a lot of my fabrics thrifting or just like at my local uh, 
fabric store. Thrifting is really good because you go to the craft section and they will have lace, a lot of lace, and ribbon and buttons and fabric. It's honestly the go-to place and it's so cheap as well. So if you don't wanna spend a bunch of money at a fabric store, then just go thrifting. Again, with thrifting, I found these vintage gardening magazines and I am obsessed. They had them priced at a dollar per bundle and they had like 15 bundles there. So I really wish I got more, but they don't have to be vintage ones like these. I think I just like majorly scored with these ones. You can use literally any magazines or old books as well, like ripping pages out for like a cute background. There's so many possibilities. So these magazines come in handy for like cutting out the little letters to make titles for your scrapbook. And then there's always gonna be like little illustrations that you can cut out as well. Okay, it is really hot. <laughs> I'm like dying. Um, okay, the next thing isn't an essential, but I do find it really handy. So it's a cutting mat and a craft knife. This comes in handy when you are cutting things like the magazine letters and something that's like really small and intricate. So sometimes it's just a bit easier than using scissors. But then speaking of scissors, I love these like fun scissors. I don't know what you actually call them. De decorative, no, fun scissors. Yeah, that's good. I think my go-to pair is like the scallopy ones. I usually use them to cut around a photo or a ticker or a receipt, literally anything. And they just add so much to your page. It's just like a cute decorative little edge. And then there's just a few fun things. So in my Italy journal, I stuck on like a bunch of these little paper flowers that I found at the craft store. I've also got those classic cute little silver stars that always look amazing on a page. <gasps> Washi tape, my boy fiance um, just got me some washi tape and that is just so cute. Like to put as a little border around a photo or something, like it's always gonna be cute. So those are just some extra things that just add to your page and like make it pop. Okay, I hope you like this video. I feel like a lot of people have asked for it. So hopefully someone watches it, even if it's literally one person, like hopefully you start scrapbooking. It's so fun. Imagine in 40 years when 40 years, that's kind of ages, 40, 50, 60, I'll be like 70. I mean, okay, yeah. And you're pulling out your scrapbook and you're showing everyone and you're literally just reliving the memories. Like I know we have photos and videos and whatever, but this is just such a wholesome, cute way to like document your life. Like I'm looking at them right now, they're so cute. And just writing little notes and like you can even make like a little envelope and stick a letter in there from like that trip or if someone gave you directions on that trip or that day then just saving that and just remembering like, oh yeah, when I was in New York, like the train lady helped me get to this place. Like that is just, that is just so cute to me. Let me know if you want an in-depth tutorial on how I do a page. Like, I feel like that would be a really fun video to just sit down and be like, okay, now I do this and now I do this, um, which I've never done before, but I feel like it'd be fun. I don't know, scrapbook everything, document everything. Um, I hope you like this video. Bye.